Today I'm going to show you how to add a slideshow to your ASP.NET application and this is what we are trying to achieve. So if you want to know how to do this, uh, keep watching. So start by adding this script to your head content. We're going to use um, the script from Trip Tracker. And these are just the path of the photos that we want to um, add to the slideshow. So you want to add more and just do this. And we want uh, to display the image on the page also. If you don't want the panning, you can do this. You can also remove the uh, border also. And that's it. Now what if these photos come from the database? Um, we want to display the photos dynamically. So this is not going to work. So first we need to get rid of those. We also need to get rid of this also. Okay, this is our code behind page. Usually, um, the photos come from the database, um, but in this example, I'm going to use this uh, method to simplify our 
um, demonstration. Now we need to build a script. Now we're going to iterate through um, the photos. Uh, we also want to display the images on the page also. Okay, let's try this. Okay, we need to place the photo in a panel. And now we need to register the script. And we can give any ID here, any value here. Okay, let's try this. Oops. Oh, we're missing a semicolon. Okay. So it worked.
There you go. Now let's take this one step further. When we click on the image, we want to show the image full size on the screen. Okay, um, so that will be the uh, the image path that that's what we're gonna pass as an argument to our handler. Okay, this is our handler, event handler. Okay, we have to use a different name here. We cannot use uh, the same name. Okay, this is the uh, image path. And now we're going to register the script. And this is also has to be a different name than this one. It has to be a unique name. Okay, let's try this. Uh, something's wrong. Oh. Uh. Okay. Here's a list of options in case you want to customize your slideshow.